Dan Mace here with the 14th episode of Vault Log, a series all about Fallout Shelter, and in this episode we're going to be talking about save editors, which are a quick and easy way to get free items in the game. We're going to be discussing the pros and cons, and how to use them. Now, depending on which platform you play Fallout Shelter on, you're going to be using a different save editor, so there's versions for PC, Android devices, and iOS devices. Now as far as suggested ones, there is a link in the description of this video to a guide that lists a few for Android, iOS, and Windows. And you can also just ask in the comments, there's plenty of helpful people in the Fallout Shelter community and they'll probably have quite a few recommendations of their own. Now in this video specifically we're going to be covering an Android save editor, but the same principles will kind of apply to all of them. Now I'm going to be taking a look at Pimp My Vault which is available for free in the Google Play Store and it certainly doesn't have the best functionality out of all of them but it's the easiest to get up and running with. So here we have a very beginner vault and we don't have basically any resources, we don't really have that many good dwellers and this is really a situation where a save editor can come into play here. So let's go ahead and load up Pimp My Vault and here's the screen where we choose which save file we want to edit. I never edit my first save file so I'm going to go ahead and select my second one which I use for the save editor. And let's take a look at this resource screen here. We can pretty much add in any resource. So let's say I want 999 Nuka Cola Quantum so I can basically speed up every task and get the quest really quick. And then we could also say add some legendary dwellers here. Let's uh, just for the fun of it, let's add maybe three Lucas Sims. So if you're really into a specific legendary dweller, you could say get 20, 50 of them and just have a whole vault filled up with them. So it's pretty interesting and you can create some kind of cool scenarios here. We can also go about creating our own uh, specific little dwellers here and we can say max out all their special stats. So this can be pretty helpful too. Now once you've finished adding in everything that you want, go ahead and tap the save icon in the top right of the screen and then we'll go back and load into Fallout Shelter. Now I'll select my second vault since that's the one I used for the save editing. We'll load in here and right when we load in you can see we've got a bunch of Lucas Simses there. So that's pretty neat. As you can see in the top right corner we also have that 999 Nuka Cola Quantum. Now obviously this is pretty interesting stuff and it's pretty cool but there are quite a few pros and cons. The big pro here is free stuff obviously but that also comes along with some cons and some cons directly related to stuff being free. Now the first con that I really recognize when using this save editor is that there really isn't a challenge that comes along with this. I think that half the fun of playing Fallout Shelter is learning about the mechanics and building up a vault all on your own and when you use a save editor it kind of takes away all the challenge from the game. So be wary of that. Now the second con is save issues and there's always a few people that report corrupted save files after using a save editor so be sure to back up all your files just in case things go haywire. And the third and biggest con is that the developers lose cash with the more people that use these save editors. Since Fallout Shelter is a free to play game, the only cash flow for this game is through microtransactions and the less money that the developers are getting, that's the less time that they can invest in future updates. So after weighing all these pros and cons, what do you think about Fallout Shelter save editors? Be sure to let me know in the comments, maybe we can get some discussions going. I personally decide not to use one, especially on my main save file, but I can see how it could be pretty helpful for testing out the mechanics in a quicker way. Thank you so much for watching all the Fallout Shelter Vault Log episodes. Be sure to check out the playlist where you can find all the previous episodes and the future ones will be added there as well. And thank you for watching this episode of Vault Log and have a great day.